Hello to everyone. Γεια σας, if I say it in Greek. Γεια σας. Γεια σου, Μάρτιν. We also say γεια σας uh, when we are leaving the building. So, γεια σας when we are coming in and γεια σας when we are coming out. So, this is something that we just learned about the Greek language. Um, well, uh, I will try to put some, some energy here because we all know that after lunch it's difficult to stay awake on a presentation. Uh, and, uh, oh, no, sorry, previous one. Okay. Um, so I would like to say a big thank you to the organizers for giving me this lot uh, after lunch. Uh, no, really, uh, because uh, at the same time we have only one Spanish presentation on the next room and uh, the group of nerds, on uh, the developers uh, with the dev jump. So I have all the English speaking uh, audience uh, available uh, and awake. Uh, uh, I'm here to present you a work that we have done uh, regarding uh, gamification, uh, a holistic gamification approach for Moodle uh, workplace uh, installation and uh, a, a use case through a large corporate organization um, last this, this year. How many of you are fa familiar with the gamification in education tools and techniques? And have you used gamification in your courses? Elements, anything? Okay, that's good. Um, well, some sort of introduction. Um, I'm Yanis Harapoglu. I'm the director of uh, IT and e-learning department of Digitech, uh, High Technology Solution. And also I have Yanis Lagos with me, our technical manager. And uh, this is the Yanis team. Uh, it's uh, inside Zoc we always use. Uh, many of you, uh, you may know me as Yanis from Wide Services. Um, now I'm Yanis of Digitech because last year we have the acquisition and the uh, merger by absorbing of the company of uh, Digitech. And uh, we are a Moodle premium partner and I belong to the Moodle partner network for about 15 years. Uh, have implemented, I don't know, 500,000 uh, completed projects. Uh, as a Moodle partner, we are in three countries, Athens, Cyprus, and Albania, as you can see here in the video. Well, um, I believe many of you can understand uh, what is, uh, understand what is a, a gamification in general. Well, a basic term is that the gamification is the use of elements and uh, game design techniques on non-game concept, such as online training. So uh, the integration of uh, gamification element in, game, in education is a powerful tool in order to uh, uh, enhance le the learner's motivation and the engagement in your courses. And we did that uh, on uh, using Moodle Workplace for, uh, as I said, a large scale corporate organization. Our case study uh, is uh, used in an organization with uh, over 18,000 users or in retail industry and 4,000 uh, small stores all around the, the country because they wanted to find the correct ways in order to uh, enhance the learning experience, the motivation to complete the boring uh, compliance courses that all organization has to do. Uh, come on, okay, we all know that when uh, someone has to complete a course, let's say GDPR awareness, uh, uh, or uh, the terms of how a course, uh, how a company works, it's a little bit boring and no one would like to do that. And when someone receives an email from the HR, would say, okay, come on, not again, the HR with a boring course. Uh, so we wanted to find some ways in order to uh, give them uh, the motivation to complete some courses. And we did that with uh, the gamification, which uh, gave us all this philosophy of engagement, learning retention, uh, learning process or achievements to do that. 
enough with the theory. Let's start, drill down on the uh, uh, key terms of what we did on this uh, project. Uh, to, to achieve this, we developed some, a, a set of custom plugins on uh, Moodle Workplace um, uh, using points and levels, leaderboards, uh, coins, and a new world, which is the marketplace, uh, connected with some learning paths that we called missions. Uh, the scope of uh, this implementation was uh, to uh, the comparison of gamification elements, a, a reward scheme in two basic mechanisms. The first one, come on, uh, sorry. Uh, the first one is uh, collecting points and a level mechanism, which is simply uh, collecting uh, uh, points by completing typical activities on Moodle uh, and courses. Something similar with the Experience Points plugin, if, if you have uh, ever tested, which is a very nice plugin. But it goes more from that. The second part is the, co the, the coin mechanism, which is uh, leading all users to collect coins and use them in a marketplace, uh, which is, uh, let's say, a virtual store, an, an e-shop that uh, uh, gives a variety of rewards uh, enriching the learning uh, journey. Um, uh, apart from that, we have developed some uh, missions, uh, which is the custom, uh, the, the learning plans the learning paths which is connected with the points, uh, some extra uh, uh, missions to complete uh, the users in order to collect more and more uh, points. Uh, connected on time, uh, on time activities. Let's start see uh, what was uh, the implementation. Uh, at this page you see that we, uh, the journey of the user started uh, from uh, after login page. Uh, upon login, the users uh, select if they're going to participate on the gamification scheme or not. Uh, okay, there are many reasons that someone could not uh, participate, but okay, we give this option. Uh, this, the system asks the user if it's a new user or an old, uh, or an old user or an existing employee, because in retail industry there is a lot of retention and a lot of people coming and leaving the, the company. So uh, we have different rules for existing users or new users. Depending on the user's answer, we enroll the user in a course, which is, let's say, a placement test. Uh, we categorize the users in different levels, so new users, old users, good grades on existing knowledge or, or not. And after the co completing this course, then the users uh, enters in uh, the gamification scheme. What is this gamification scheme? Let's start seeing the, the new terms. Uh, the terms, points, coins, and levels. The administrators, um, has a setting page which uh, organize the, the number of levels. Let's say we have five levels of, uh, um, of collecting points and uh, each level is, let's say 500 levels, uh, 500 po points is the level one, 1000 the level two, etc. We give names, uh, descriptions, images for each uh, ladder, let's say, on the levels we have uh, to collect points and coins. And the main difference between points and coins is that we use the points for leaderboards uh, inside the platform and the coins on the marketplace that we can, let's say, redeem uh, with goods and earnings. Student view. When the student enters in, uh, in the platform, I can see all this information on a nice visual uh, uh, dashboard page, so they see all the levels on this top graph you can see here, level one or two, your level, your next level and how many points you have uh, to collect uh, by doing other achievements. Uh, the position you have uh, in uh, the total range of group of users or department that you have in, uh, in the platform and top three users or your history of uh, collecting points in, in your platform. So uh, by this page, we are uh, strict to the gamification philosophy that each user has uh, exactly the, um, the control of the situation of all the time uh, of his position and the, others, the other users. Uh, taking back to the administrator view, we have a, a, a setting page that we can set up global rules for collecting points and coins. 
um, for for example, for uh, for in this uh, example, uh, we have uh, some event-based. If a user see a blog article or if has uh, many logins in the last few days, so we give points to motivate learners to do something uh, general things in inside the the platform. However, the easy part, the obvious part, is on the course level what we do with points and coins. Uh, users uh, are completing uh, courses and activities uh, which set up custom rules uh, of how many points they collect by doing uh, something. And now it's the dark side of the moon. Uh, <laughs> we say the deduction of points. If uh, users are uh, inconsistent, uh, in their uh, responsibilities in the platform, we have the option in order to remove points uh, and coins uh, from uh, what they have earned till now in the platform with a percentage or a flat number of, uh, of points or by, uh, by connected with time activities uh, and, uh, and et cetera. Uh, so uh, we all know that when learners have a, motiv a motivation, they are tend to be more responsible in, uh, in their responsibilities inside the platform and completing the courses uh, in time. This is the mission part I mentioned before. Uh, Moodle Workplace has all these um, programs and certification. We connected this functionality with a mission uh, of uh, courses collecting uh, some points. So uh, by doing these programs, by doing by this uh, order specific courses and specifically on a specific time frame, uh, we have the option to gain more points. These are small missions that have specific time in order to, uh, to achieve. So if we want, we have a new uh, law and we have to uh, train 100,000 users in a few days, we add a mission, do it, and you are going to get a few more points uh, or coins in the platform. A learner can see the points, uh, the um, uh, coins, and the level uh, it belongs just on the top right corner, as always, next to the notifications uh, page. So uh, everyone has the control of uh, that, uh, that information. OK, and this is the, uh, the answer uh, to the question, what the hell we have to collect some coins in the platform. The points is, okay, we understand this. Uh, you collect uh, points to see the levels, the leaderboards uh, on the dashboard. But this is the reason why to collect coins uh, as a second unit inside the platform. We develop a, a marketplace. The marketplace is uh, you, uh, where users can exchange the collected coins with uh, some goods at, the, at their shop. For example, uh, you can add any uh, product in the shop uh, for the learners that they can use it uh, and spend their collected coins. For example, uh, if you collect 500 points, you get a bottle of wine. If you collect uh, 300 points, you have a meeting with the CEO. Scott, are you here? Okay. Collect 300 coins and have a meeting with Scott. Uh, or in some cases, uh, we have uh, a battle, a fight every uh, every summer in all companies in Greece. Uh, which uh, which slot of the days in uh, in the summer will take uh, the annual leave? So, if you complete your course, spend to buy the opportunity to select first the annual leave on this summer. You can find any ways in order to, to give the opportunity to, uh, to spend your coins. And each coin has a typical uh, page of any shop. So you have the picture, the description, uh, how many coins you need in order to buy from the selected ones. Um, and also we have created connected, uh, coin, uh, connected products and dependencies if you want to buy uh, um, to uh, this product, you have first to buy another one. So we give them motivation in order to get, get back in complete courses, complete activities, to collect coins in order to gain things that they are, this is interesting uh, for them. Um, 
Uh, okay, as an administrator, when we receive an order, we have a dashboard, we can see who ordered what, uh, detailed analytics, and also the opportunity to accept or reject an order from a, a learner. Uh, it, in some cases, we have to, let's say, uh, review uh, if the learner has to achieve this and get, get that good. Um, as a functionality. And obviously, uh, the learners has their uh, internal logs and they know what they have uh, uh, purchased in the uh, previous, uh, all this, um, with the participation in, in all these courses. Uh, so, uh, with this marketplace, and uh, so the users collect coins by completing courses, uh, they go to marketplace, they redeem the, the coins uh, with buying goods and Courses are completed, aides are happy, user is happy, and everyone is happy with this uh, approach. Uh, now, uh, the eShop the e settings is the typical settings that you can imagine on any uh, eShop product. We can sub, set up the name, the description, uh, how, much, uh, how much time is available this specific uh, product, uh, if we want to connect it. And obviously, the products are connected uh, for, uh, we can have different products in the marketplace for different tenants. In some cases, we have to uh, set up um, th the starting points. So uh, we give the opportunity to administrators to upload coins uh, for users that have completed previous courses uh, or add an extra thank you coins. This is how we call it, thank you coins or instant points allocation in case uh, we want to give extra points in some users for doing something even outside the, the platform. We wanted to have this opportunity. Um, uh, however, this works from the opposite side uh, and we can also remove uh, coins from users if for any reasons, uh, for any reason we have to do it. Uh, so, uh, uh, you have to make friend your administrator because he can add you coins uh, as you want. Uh, before I close this presentation, I would like to thank Moodle HQ India uh, because we work together for this project, uh, working on their uh, gamification plugin they have developed and we received a lot of uh, support and uh, the executive from the executive team of OPAP, our client, uh, which provide us valuable feedback and scenarios of how to achieve all this um, uh, implementation. Um, for us, it was a really beautiful project, uh, project from all the implementation and deployment uh, uh, process. We developed for this case, but obviously it's uh, an easy to apply application to any other uh, workplace installation and typical model. And uh, if you want to know how the learners' uh, participant on participation changed using this approach, is, the answer is obvious. <laughs> they didn't have it, and now they have the opportunity to gain things apart from the uh, mandatory trainings they have to do till now. So, yes, it changed a lot, and they enjoy it a lot. Uh, just uh, on the gamification topic, I would highlight that there is a course on the Moodle Academy, the gamification uh, uh, with Moodle, which is uh, published last year and has over 2,000 employees, uh, 2,000 participants already, which is a connection with a typical workplace uh, gamification uh, course we offer from our Y Training Academy. Well, this is it. I was only on time. Oh, you are good. Thank you. Um, we have time for a question or two, if anyone has something for Johannes. Suit me. Oh, on here. There's over there. So uh, in order to develop this, you did uh, rely on the gamification plugin existing in the Moodle? No, actually, we didn't use uh, uh, the experience plugin that is available on uh, uh, plugins directory. We use the philosophy and we create the structure of uh, the points and coins uh, using a marketplace that was already developed from uh, Moodle HQ India. And we collaborate to extend to all these scenarios we presented. It was a simplified version, the one they had. And we worked about six to eight months together in order to uh, create uh, 
100 scenarios uh, from the one I present you. It's, uh, you saw only a, a small part of all the functionalities that are, are available on the mechanism. And is uh, what you develop into a Moodle workplace would be kind of transferable to regular Moodle? To the global Moodle. To, to the regular no. Moodle, institutional, ah, to, to regional Moodle. Moodle. Yes, it's, uh, it, it's available for Moodle and uh, workplace also. Uh, but you cannot use the, the, the elements of uh, uh, workplace, such as the programs and the missions. All Thank the other functionalities are available and you can use it uh, for a typical model. Yes. Thank you. The core model.